How to Make a Wish Written and illustrated by Zoe Saunders Read with the kind permission of the author It was morning and, like most mornings, Little Red Fox was the first to get up. Wake up! shouted Little Red Fox. Wake up! What are we going to do today? Something exciting? Oh, I hope so. Big Red Fox yawned and stretched and yawned again before saying with a grin, I have something very special planned for today. Today we are going to learn how to make wishes. Now come on, little one. Hurry up. Don't dilly-dally, wishes won't wait, you know. The two red foxes left their underground den to explore the countryside on a hunt for wishes. They trotted through the forest. It was difficult for little red fox to keep up. Because little red fox kept stopping to look at flowers and to chase buzzing insects and to play with friends. But suddenly Big Red Fox stopped, plucked a fuzzy white flower from the grass and held it up for Little Red Fox to see. It was a dandelion that had gone to seed. All these little seeds carry wishes on the wind, said Big Red Fox. Up to the place in the sky where wishes are made. Now, take a deep breath, think of a wish, and blow. So Little Red Fox did just that, and the tiny seeds floated away and danced on the breeze, up, up, up into the sky. Little Red Fox wished for snow. It had been so long since they'd had snow to play in. Beautiful, cold, sparkling white snow. Snow that you can pounce in, roll around in, and make snow foxes out of. The two red foxes came to the bottom of a big hill. Up we go, said Big Red Fox, all the way to the top. Halfway up, it started to rain. As they reached the top of the hill, the rain stopped and the sun shone through the clouds. The little red fox looked up and shouted, Look! A rainbow! Perfect, said Big Red Fox. Now we need to find the end of it. Race you! Now, human beings like you or me are far too slow to catch the end of a rainbow before it disappears, but foxes are quick. Big Red Fox and Little Red Fox dashed down the hill like lightning and found the end of the rainbow in no time. As they leaped through the glorious coloured light, Big Red Fox shouted, Make a wish! Little Red Fox thought hard about the next wish. Big, asked Little Red Fox, Do you remember that night last summer when the stars fell out of the sky? Big Red Fox laughed. (laughs) The Fireflies, you mean? Yes, that's it, the fireflies. I wish to see the fireflies again. It was starting to go dark, and so the two red foxes headed home. Little red fox skipped along and pounced at the dappled light under the trees. The two red foxes crept quietly past the old farmhouse. Then they tiptoed back through the dark forest 
to their den. Outside of their den, Big Red Fox said, oh, Look up! Look up at the twinkling stars, little Red Fox! As they turned their pointed noses upwards, a bright shooting star whooshed across the sky. Quick, quick, said Big Red Fox, make another wish. Little Red Fox was very tired and so wished for a mossy soft bed, a comfortable and warm bed lined with downy feathers, sweet-smelling flowers and rustling leaves. It was time for bed, and the two red foxes curled up together. Little red fox snuggled under big red fox's big bushy tail, as warm as a bug. Big? asked little. How do you know all those wishes I made will come true? Well, said Big Red Fox, I know for certain that wishes come true because a while ago I made a very special wish and it came true. Oh, Little Fox sighed, nearly asleep. What did you wish for? Big Red Fox leaned forward and whispered very gently into Little Red Fox's ear. I wished for you.